The state of Illinois may go all in with all sorts of gambling in an effort to create jobs and increase revenues headed to Springfield. Included in the gambling package is a provision to allow sports betting in stadiums and arenas that seat more than 17,000 people. There are four facilities that immediately come to mind that could house a sports book, all in Chicago, two baseball stadiums, a football stadium, and an arena. That means in-game betting could take place when the Cubs or White Sox baseball games are being played. The Bears and the Chicago MLS team could be playing with a sports book nearby. The Blackhawks and Bulls may also provide a backdrop for sports betting. Illinois lawmakers voted not to allow betting on the state's college teams. The irony here is someone from Soldier Field, the home of the National Football League's Chicago Bears, can get a sports book license and be open during Bear games. The NFL fought New Jersey's bid to open the sports book in 2011, as well as a Delaware attempt to get a full-blown sports betting program going. The NFL would eventually lose when the Supreme Court of the United States ruled for New Jersey and opened the floodgates for states to hand out licenses for sports books. Now the NFL, along with Major League Baseball, the National Basketball Association, the National Hockey League, and Major League Soccer will have gambling just a matter of steps away from a game. Illinois will be joining Nevada, New Jersey, Delaware, West Virginia, Rhode Island, Mississippi, Pennsylvania, Iowa, Indiana, Montana, Oregon, and New Mexico as states with sports gambling. Arkansas is supposed to join that group as well after voters said yes to a sports book in that state. Tennessee sports books will go online July 1st. The leagues are still looking for a piece of the action as they like gambling. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.